What's up guys and welcome to another transfer video on the channel, I hope you guys are having a good weekend. Today on the news we're gonna talk about Kanté and Chelsea, like I said a few videos ago, Chelsea are willing to sell Kanté to fund another players this summer. Also on the news, in yesterday's video we talked about Havertz to Chelsea and today we're gonna talk about the possibility of Havertz joining Bayern Munich this summer as well. And also on the news we have Cavani to Boca Juniors, this, this move, this summer move is extremely unlikely to happen because of Cavani's wage demands, also on the news we have Ramos to Beckham's team, Inter Miami and much much more. Don't forget to leave a like guys, it's really really important for me and for the channel, let's try to hit 500 likes in this video, so smash that like button guys, I know you can do it, it only takes one second of your time and it is really really important. Enjoy the video guys, let's go! Ok, let's start this, Thomas Muller has talked up a potential move to Bayern Munich for Kai Havertz, while ex Bayer Leverkusen boss Renier Kalmund has expressed his belief that the midfielder will not be sold for less than 100 million euros. Havertz has enjoyed a meteoric rise to prominence over the last couple of seasons, emerging as a both a huge figure for Leverkusen and one of the most sought after talents in European football. Arturo Vidal has put on hold any talks over his future at Barcelona until the end of the season, claims Mundo Deportivo. The Chilean has been widely tipped to leave Camp Nou, but wants to focus on matters on the field as Barca battle for the La Liga and Champions League titles. Lati Budur is already mulling over his transfer options for next season with the Manchester City starlet determined to follow the lead of Jadon Sancho and Phil Foden by becoming a senior star. The highly rated defender lift the Under-17 World Cup as captain of England's winning side in 2017. Liverpool have been assured Marco Grujic will return to Anfield as a more complete player following two years on loan at Ertel Berlin. Serbian international Grusic is coming to the end of his stay at Ertha, who have confirmed he will head back to his parent club at the end of the month. The 24 year old former Red Star Belgrade midfielder may find there is a role for him in Jurgen Klopp's plan for next season. Celtic goalkeeper Craig Gordon revealed that he turned down a new contract to stay at Parkhead. The 37 year old is out of contract in the summer and is close to a move to St. Mirren, according to the Daily Record. Van Dijk has rebuffed interest from Paris Saint-Germain in order to stay at Liverpool, claims the Sun. The defender will be rewarded for his loyalty with a new 5-year deal worth €245,000 a week, making him the Reds' highest paid player in club history. Inter are looking to take advantage of the contract struggles between Hector Bellerin and Arsenal, reports the Mirror. Bellerin is holding out on extending its current deal which expires in 2023 after missing almost an entire year due to an injury. Vélez Sarsfield manager Pablo Cavallero has revealed Barcelona have inquired about the club's teenage star Thiago Almada. The 19-year-old midfielder made his debut for Vélez last season and is now approaching 50 first-team appearances for the Buenos Aires club. While contracted to Vélez until 2023, interest in the young Argentine has been growing with Manchester United and Athletic Madrid just some of the clubs linked. Lautaro Martinez has put up the pressure on Inter in order to push through a move to Barcelona claims Sport. The Italians are reluctant to let go of their young attacking star and have publicly stated they would not consider any bid that falls below Lautaro's release clause. Arsenal are hoping to secure a new contract for young promise Buka Yusaka reports Football London. Negotiations with the 18-year-old were halted due to the coronavirus pandemic, but Mikel Arteta plans to use Saka as a more attacking option once football resumes next week. Boca Juniors face an almost impossible task to secure the signature of Edison Cavani according to reports. The striker is out of contract at PSG this summer and has spoken publicly on his desire to line up at the Bombonera, but Cavani's wage demands even taking a significant cut from his PSG salary far outstrip what the Argentine giants could afford, as they face the double blow of the extended national economic crisis as well as the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. Karius is determined to show what he can do after returning to Anfield following a loan at Besiktas. I can move forward in training at Liverpool, as the second choice goalkeeper in England, you know that you get your chances, Karius told Transfer Market. I am currently at the best club in the world, play for titles, have the highest level around me every day in training. I am fully aware that I am in a good position to be in Liverpool, I have great conditions there. 
Birmingham midfielder Jude Bellingham is set to pick Borussia Dortmund over Manchester United according to United Report. The 16-year-old sensation is being pursued by leading sides across Europe, but he is set to follow the leave of Drayden Sancho by heading to Germany. Chelsea hope to have a proposed deal for Timo Werner tied up in the next 72 hours, claims the evening standard. The Blues have agreed to trigger the 60 million euros release clause in the Leipzig strikers contract, freeing them to now get a big money transfer push through. And talking about Chelsea, they are prepared to part with N'Golo Kante in the next window and Nas report that the midfielder is back on Real Madrid's radar. The World Cup winning France international has been linked with the Blancos for some time and could see an offer put to him from Santiago Bernabeu. The Portugal international right back is currently on loan from Southampton but he is due to become a free agent after June 30. Arsenal have yet to agree a short term deal with Cedric Suarez which would see him remain at the club until the end of the prolonged Premier League season. Suarez joined the Gunners on loan from Southampton in January but has yet to play for the North London club. He suffered a knee problem before the coronavirus pandemic and now looks set to miss the restart with a facial injury meaning he could depart the Emirates Stadium without ever stepping on the pitch for Arsenal. Chopomoting will leave Paris Saint-Germain when this contract expires on June 30. RMC Sport reports that the 31-year-old, a surprise signing from Stoke in 2018, will not remain even though PSG still have two cup finals and their Champions League campaign to complete. The Cameroon International scored 8 goals in 48 appearances for the Ligue 1 champions. Nice want to sign Everton midfielder Morgan Schneiderlin this summer according to the original newspaper Nice Matin. They report the Ligue 1 side are keen on the 30-year-old who has also played in the Premier League for Southampton and Manchester United. The clubs are said to be in talks over a fee for Schneiderlin who made 15 league appearances for Everton this season before knee injury in February. Wolverhampton have offered 15 million euros for Stade de Reims defender Axel Dizazi according to the equipe. The 22-year-old is heavily in demand with Arsenal wanting the centre-back to help reshape their defence. However, Wolverhampton who, based on current Premier League positions, seems more likely to be able to offer European football to Dizazi next season than the Gunners, now also seem to be in for the former France under-20 international. Manchester United are ready to rival Arsenal for the signing of Gint striker Jonathan David according to reports. Mikel Arteta is in the market for another frontman amid talks of possible exits for Aubameyang and Alexander Lacazette at Emirates Stadium, but Oli Solskjaer is also open to adding more firepower to his ranks at Old Trafford. Borussia Dortmund are no longer in pole position to land Valencia winger Ferran Torres according to reports with the door being left open for sides in England, Spain and Italy to make a move. Manchester United, Liverpool and Real Madrid have all been linked with the highly rated 20 year old. Juventus are looking to take Emerson from Chelsea on loan with an option to buy. The Bianconeri according to Tuto Sport are hoping to do a deal similar to that which brought Juan Cuadrado onto their books from the Blues in 2015. Danny Rose has agreed an extension to his loan deal at Newcastle according to The Athletic. The England international will now see out the 2019-2020 campaign and said James Park before returning to Tottenham and putting a more permanent move in place. Barcelona are exploring the option of player exchange deals when it comes to Philippe Coutinho claims sport. The Brazilian is wanted by the likes of Chelsea and Tottenham with those at Camp Nou seeing if they can address any of their own needs in talks with the Premier League suitors. Barcelona are set to beat Madrid rivals Real and Atletic to the signing of Rayo Vallecano forward Fabian Luzzi claims ESPN. The 16-year-old has emerged as one of the hottest prospects in Spanish football with those at Camp Nou moving quickly to buy into his potential. Luis Longstaff has signed a new contract with the Reds, the terms of the contract are unknown. Sergio Ramos is open to the ideal of heading to the MLS according to us. The legendary Real Madrid defender is yet to sign a new contract at Santiago Bernabeu and is intrigued by the project being pieced together by David Beckham at Inter Miami. Chelsea are considering making an offer that would see Michi Batshuayi included in a bid for West Ham star Declan Rice reports The Athletic. The Blues are embarking on an ambitious spending spree this summer but could use a Belgian striker as a make-weight in a bid to land an England international midfielder. 
And finally to win the video guys Rakitic is seeking clarity over his future at Barcelona amid ongoing rumors linking him with a summer move. The Croatian midfielder was reportedly offered the chance to join Paris Saint-Germain last summer as part of a deal that would, that would have seen Neymar return to Spain and he is said to be a potential target for Italian sides Inter and Juventus. Although he would prefer to stay with the Spanish giants for at least another year, he says he is open to other offers and hopes to have everything cleared up soon. We reached the end of the video guys, I hope you guys enjoyed, like I said in the beginning, smash that like button, let's try to hit 500 likes in this video guys, I know you can do it guys, it only takes one second of your time and it, it is really really important for me and for the channel. Also leave a comment down below about the video, rumors, confirmations, PS5, football, anything that you want, I always answer every comment on my videos. Subscribe if you're new guys, stay safe, I'm Defaults and I'll see you guys in the next 